September 10th. I'm moving with my friend Landis today. It is September 10th. Sunday, Sunday, September Sunday, 10th. Yes. And I was 600 feet, turn right onto 3rd Avenue. Okay. Head southwest on 2nd Avenue toward Ed Coke Queensboro Bridge, lower roadway. It's actually really In good. 600 feet, continue straight to stay on 2nd Avenue. <laughs> I was gonna say there's actually a really good Japanese grocery store like right over there. Mm, well, on 59th Street. So far away now. So far. So I was living with Landis for like 10 days. What up? And now um, he's helping me move all of my stuff into my new apartment. So today is like moving day, moving day vlog. I'm super excited <laughs> to be done with all of this craziness. But yeah, we're just like cruising along 2nd Avenue right now. Taking my way downtown. I don't remember the rest of the words. Walk and Continue straight to stay on Second Avenue. <laughs> Home brown. Something like that. On two. Uh, I hate that car. I hate that car too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yay. Wow, your favorite place. I know. <laughs> don't you just love it so much? Gotta, you know, gotta kick it off. Hi, tourists. Hi. We've ended up in the middle of the intersection. <laughs> How did this happen? Oh, people, stop walking! In the middle of Tarp's Cray. Just let me there, just let me just going through all the yellow lights today. Oh, yeah, crushing it. Can't, won't have it. <laughs> I pause for no one. Oh, rest in peace, Summer. <laughs> We are at my building in Hell's Kitchen now, and we have to move all of this stuff out. Na, na, na. This is sick. Super excited. The kitchen got this balcony vibe. What? Boys. I know, but, but it's facing the bigger up. PG 13, I'm censoring you. <laughs> My friends uh, Max and Tim are helping me move into my apartment along with Landis and so we're just like getting everything brought up into here. I have my little trolley of stuff back here and then Landis is picking up some of my other stuff from the storage unit. I just happen to be moving into the same building as these guys so there's going to be some shenanigans happening. We're actually in like two different towers so you kind of have to go down and out into the lobby and then go back up. I found some pudding in the ch chocolate pudding in the toilet. I'm saving that for later, actually. Start of nothing, had no chance to prepare, couldn't see you coming. This is it. You guys, I have all my stuff moved in. Look at all of these boxes. This is almost a little bit embarrassing for me to show because I'm like, how did I end up with so many boxes? And I'm telling you, there's probably only three of those boxes that are closed, and the rest is like kitchen and makeup, like beauty products. A couple of those boxes is literally just stuff that I've thrown in there, and I'm kind of like, okay, what do I do now? I'm packing it. I'm also going to be sleeping on an air mattress because <laughs> the other mattress was not mine. So I have to get a bed, I have to get a bed frame, I have no furniture. So I'm going to be doing some furniture shopping coming up. I'm kind of excited about that because it'll be the first time that I've really set up an apartment by myself like that before. Thank you so much to Landis and Max and Tim for helping me move everything in. Those guys are amazing, they're the best. And today I also have a fitting for Old Navy which I have to go to in like an hour-ish and I'm actually kind of excited because this studio is now only like 20 minutes from me compared to that hour that it was for me before where I've been living for the past like four and a half years. Ah, that makes me feel a little bit better. I don't have to stress about spending 45 minutes on the train and then walking another like 10-15 minutes. So I'm just going to start unpacking my stuff and enjoy my new apartment. It still feels kind of surreal. It doesn't feel like home, but I have a feeling that this place is going to feel more like home than all of my other places. It's quite all right to hate me now. This is 
one has no labeling on it. What did I do? Ah! Hopefully nothing breakable. ton of closets in here and I decided that I'm going to dedicate one of them to like my nicer pieces to so, like some of my designer shoes and some of my vintage and designer clothing so I've set up just a few shoes and some hangers in here right now but I'm super excited about this because I've always wanted like a nice sort of like set up of a closet but I just wanted to show you guys some of my boxes up here with shoes in them and some of them are empty and then I have my Louboutins I have some Manolos and yeah, I think those are St. Laurent and then I have a couple like older but still nice shoes down there and then this is where I'm going to have all of like the clothes and things etc. Also I have a little marble action going on in the bathroom which makes me so excited. I love marble. I also need a shower curtain. You guys I don't have anything from my last apartment because I did not have furniture. It was furnished so <sighs> Alright I actually just got back from my fitting for Old Navy. I'm shooting with them for two days. And tomorrow I'm actually shooting for Ralph Lauren. So I'm super excited because I did their lookbook like a couple weeks ago. And now I think I'm shooting something for their web or e-com or something like that. I'm not sure. But that's exciting. Excited for that. But right now I am going to go upload my first New York City vlog on my channel. Um, and that was from some castings that I did last week over New York Fashion Week. And I'll leave that link below if you guys want to check it out. And then I'm going to, this I guess will be my like second one. I don't know what channel I'm going to put this up on. If it's going to be like my main channel or my vlog channel or what I'm going to do. But we shall see. But I'm going to go upload that quickly. Now I'm obsessed with this sweater. I got it from Ula Johnson. And even just like draped over my shoulders, it looks so amazing. Ula Johnson makes the best sweaters, I have to say. They're so adorable. Can we just take a moment to appreciate that because I'm so in love with it and I'm so happy that it's finally getting a little bit cooler so that I can wear it. Okay, so clearly a little bit later in the day, I just wanted to share with you guys my like current situation. My little air mattress on the floor and say goodnight because I showered and I'm about to head to bed. I'm so ready for this day to be over and just sleep. I'm probably also going to be vlogging the rest of my like move-in unpacking situation <laughs> because I have so much to do. I'm trying to keep everything as organized as possible, but we'll see how it happens. I still need my furniture, like I've said like five times already. And I just wanted to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next vlog. All of my social media and stuff is linked in the description. And don't forget to like and comment and subscribe. All of those things. Okay. Good night. Mm.